This is my last drawing before I go to high school. So tomorrow is my first day of high school, freshman year, which I am so excited for. It is right now nighttime because it's so late, but I've basically spent the last two days finishing this drawing and I am taking you guys along my drawing process and sharing also some tips and tricks. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and also like the video. I hope you guys enjoy. So here is the sketch, and I am going to start drawing. Um, right now, I don't really have a good setup. I'm just going to use this as my tripod, but yeah. So here with the pencils, I'm just using some white and brown to block out where the highlights and shadows are going to be. And I'm also using some mid-tones like red and pink for the color of the petal. So here is what the flower is looking like right now. The I got this one petal done, which is this one right here, and I'm going to start working on the rest now. Hey guys, um, I'm back again. So I just finished uh, these two leaves right here for the lily. It's looking good so far and um, all I have to do now is like this big leaf right here. Um, but hopefully that's it. I don't know if I'm going to add a background though yet. So yeah, but hopefully I finish this by today or by tomorrow because I start school in two days, which is insane. Like I start high school for the first time. So that is really exciting. Here again, I'm just really layering those pencils and making sure to blend a lot so it can be a smooth transition and there's no harsh lines. I'm really just focusing on getting the general feel of the flower in the photo and I'm not too worried about copying it exactly. I'm just putting down highlights where I see highlights or shadows where I see shadows or different colors wherever I see them but I'm not like being too exact with everything. Hey guys, so a little update um, on the drawing. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, I think I'm done with the flower part and I'm gonna move on to like the stem. So I just ran into a little problem. Um, I have this set of razors that I've been using to sharpen my pencils because I cannot for the life of me find my pencil sharpener and they all just fell. I found every single one of them except for one, um, which is somewhere on the ground. So I'm going to have to look for that. Now I'm just mapping out where the rest of the flower is going to be. You can see me here coloring in the stem and I'm also adding in some leaves in the background. And later in this clip, you'll see me add some tape because I did end up eventually deciding on adding a background. So 
So here's what the drawing is looking like so far. I got the stem done a little bit and then I'm gonna add in the background more, make it all blurry like the image. And um, I'm talking a little quiet because my parents are sleeping, I think, but I kinda wanna get this background done. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and here is what the drawing is looking like so far. So I finished the flower part and I was just working a little bit on the background. Um, but I'm planning on finishing it today because high school starts tomorrow and the goal of this like whole drawing was to finish it before high school. So I'm gonna work during the day and like have a regular sleeping schedule because I don't want to wake up like late tomorrow. But yeah. So here is what the drawing is looking like so far. I got this little section done right here, just sort of like a blurred background. And I'm working on these two sections. This one is gonna be like in a lighter area. It's just this section right here. And I'm gonna maybe add some more details with the stems, but I really like how it's going on. Um, I like the contrast between the flowers and yeah. So this was my first time doing a blurry background and I think it shows, but I was really just trying to get the overall feel of the background, again not like being too perfect, but I was mainly just doing a lot of blending and going in lots of circular motions to give that sort of blurry effect. So here is what the drawing is looking like. I really like the contrast between the flower and the background. Um, I still have like all this part to go, so I'm only like a third of the way through. It's already halfway through the day and I can't believe high school starts tomorrow. But um, I'm going to have to sharpen some of my pencils and I don't have my pencil sharpener so I'm just going to have to use this razor, knife, whatever, but yeah.
So here is my setup. I have the pencils and I have to finish up a little more with the leaves and also some stuff in the background. Here is my like, tripod. I just lay my phone here and it films pretty well. But yeah, I'll get back to finishing up the leaves. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button because it's free and also it will help me out a lot in growing my channel. When I was drawing the background, I was keeping in mind to use a lot of different colors but also to blend the whole time because you don't want the colors to look splotchy, you want everything to be all blurred and blended. also where I started to work on the leaves a little bit more and at this point I wasn't really looking at my reference photo I was just using the general colors and blending and going really fast to just get that blurred effect This is like probably one of the last updates because I'm almost done the drawing. Here is what it's looking like so far. I still have the tape around um, because I'm not done. I just did these leaves right here but I was kind of rushing. So I'm gonna go take a little break and then come back and add some finishing details and then I will be done. So here for the final stages of the drawing, it's really important to just come back and give yourself like an hour of extra time to add the finishing details. And that is what I did here. And I'm now removing the tape. And for my signature, I was struggling a little bit. It took me a couple tries, but that's it. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and hope you found some useful tips. And yeah, this is again the finished drawing. And if you guys want to show your support, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.